guys welcome to aviksha in this video we are going to take you through a few english conversations that will help you to speak like native speakers or fluent speakers along with the happiness quote that will definitely cheer you up in and frank's word how wonderful it is that nobody need wait a single moment before starting to improve the world annelies mary and frank was a german dutch diarist of jewish heritage one of the most discussed jewish victims of the holocaust she gained fame posthumously with the 1947 publication of the diary hey what are you doing with my diary don't worry i'm not reading it just keeping it properly you know it's very personal by the way on your last birthday you looked beautiful don't feel upset birthday that means you read my diary according to aristotle happiness depends upon ourselves aristotle was a greek philosopher and polymath during the classical period in ancient greece taught by plato he was the founder of the lyceum the peripatetic school of philosophy and the aristotelian tradition bad luck dear that's three losses in a row hey do you have any idea how annoying you are oh yes i got this quality after years of practice oh god you are unbelievable see the point is happiness depends on ourselves you do not need to win the game to feel happy all right according to marcus very little is needed to make a happy life it is all within yourself and your way of thinking marcus aurelius antoninus was a roman emperor from 161 to 180 and a stoic philosopher he was the last of the rulers known as the five good emperors and the last emperor of the pax romana an age of relative peace and stability for the roman empire he served as roman consul in 140 145 and 161 I think she's scared and cold should we order a pizza with a cup of cappuccino no thanks i just want a cup of black tea with ginger that is enough because i was feeling very much cold that's the way i think you're really great emmanuel said rule for happiness something to do someone to love something to hope for emmanuel kant was a german philosopher and one of the central enlightenment thinkers kant's comprehensive and systematic works in epistemology metaphysics ethics and aesthetics have made him one of the most influential figures in modern western philosophy wow that's so good no it's not really the perspectives all wrong i paint what i see that's what makes it interesting as said by buddha thousands of candles can be lighted from a single candle and the life of the candle will not be shortened happiness never decreases by being shared siddhartha or gautam buddha was born in lumbini near kapilavastu shakya republic kosala kingdom which is now in nepal and he died in kusinara malla republic magadh kingdom now kesya India He is the founder of Buddhism one of the major religions and philosophical systems of southern and eastern asia and of the world Says can't pest that's it he's okay with me going if you are coming Wait you're going to a can fest Yeah it's a candle festival it's cool please come with me I guess if you think it's cool I'm sure it's super cool Mom and dad who always say no this time said yes so surely i'm coming As Frederick Denning said we tend to forget that happiness doesn't come as a result of getting something we don't have but rather of recognizing and appreciating what we do have Frederick Gottlob Koenig was a German inventor best known for his high speed steam powered printing press which he built together with watchmaker Andreas Friedrich Bauer this new style of printing press could print up to 
a thousand and hundred sheets per hour, printing on both sides of the paper at the same time. Hey sis, how wonderful to see you. I thought you were going to the hotel. Where's mom? Mom and vacation, that's a long story. But you're not supposed to be driving. Oh, that's the least I can do for you. Please let me do it. Thich Nhat Han said, Sometimes your joy is the source of your smile, but sometimes your smile can be the source of your joy. Thich Nhat Han is a Vietnamese Thien Buddhist monk, peace activist, and founder of the Plum Village tradition. Thich Nhat Hanh spent most of his later life residing at the Plum Village Monastery in southwest France near Thanh traveling internationally to give retreats and talks. I can send you the puppy's photo so you have something to remember it by. Yeah, I was just texting you about it. You had a really good time playing with your pets. And please make sure your pet won't pine while you're away. Seeing your one, I have decided that I will sure keep a pet. As per Dennis Waitley, happy people plan actions, they don't plan results. Dennis e. Waitley is an American motivational speaker, writer, and consultant. He has been recognized as the best selling author of the audio series, The Psychology of Winning, and books such as Seeds of Greatness and The Winner's Edge. Waitley has been inducted into the International Speakers Hall of Fame. You can put on your music on the radio of the car if you want, dear. I don't mind. Just no screen time today. Yeah, the entire day, none of our family members can use anything that has a screen. Okay, okay. At least let me inform my boss that I'll be off the grid. Yes, that much we can allow. Go ahead. According to the Lai Lama, happiness is not something ready-made. It comes from your own actions. The 14th Dalai Lama was born in the wood pig year, fifth month, fifth day of the Tibetan calendar, or 6th July 1935, known as the Gyalwa Rinpoche. To the Tibetan people, he is the current Dalai Lama, the highest spiritual leader of Tibet and the retired political leader of Tibet. Hi there, I need to use your phone to call my brother to pick me up. Why? You forgot where you live? Did you check the tag on your backpack? Not like that. Can I use your landline phone or mobile anything? Yes, sure. You can use my dad's phone. As said by Franklin D. Roosevelt, happiness is not in the mere possession of money. It lies in the joy of achievement, in the thrill of creative effort. Franklin Delano Roosevelt often referred to by his initials, FDR, was an American politician who served as the 32nd president of the United States from 1933 until his death in 1945. I don't know what you're doing, but I love it. I put some paint on my hand, I do anything on the floor. No cost at all. What about the paint? Oh, that is vegetable paint, like juice of carrot and spinach. I hope I could also do something like this. According to Eleanor Roosevelt, since you get more joy out of giving joy to others, you should put a good deal of thought into the happiness that you're able to give. Anna Eleanor Roosevelt was an American political figure, diplomat, and activist. She served as the first lady of the United States from March 4, 1933 to April 12, 1945, during her husband, President Franklin D. Roosevelt's four terms in office, making her the longest serving first lady of the United States. I think he's travel sick. You've never been through such a long journey, right? I'll tell you one of my secret. I also had this problem long back. I never go anywhere without these lemon lozenges. Take one, you will immediately feel good. As said by Groucho Marx, I, not events, have the power to make me happy or unhappy today. I can choose which it shall be. Yesterday is dead. Tomorrow hasn't arrived yet. I have just one day, today, and I'm going to be happy in it. Julius Henry Groucho Marx 
was an American comedian, actor, writer, stage, film, radio, and television star. He is generally considered to have been a master of quick wit and one of America's greatest comedians. I have never been interviewed for an institute before. It's nothing to worry about. I'm not worried, dear, because I just want to have an experience. But it can be tough trying to keep up standards and high. Yeah, I'll prepare well. In the words of Harvey Fierstein, never be bullied into silence. Never allow yourself to be made a victim. Accept no one's definition of your life. Define yourself. Harvey Forbes Fierstein is an American actor, playwright, and political commentator. He is best known for his theater work in Torch Song Trilogy and Hairspray, and movie roles in Mrs. Doubtfire, Independence Day, and as the voice of Yao in Mulan and Mulan 2. Sorry, I lost my glasses. Couldn't see anything without it. If they fell off before you started playing, then it should be around here. Yeah, right. They can't be far. Till your glasses get fixed, what are you going to do? I'm going to sing a song for that glasses aren't required. According to Epictetus, there's only one way to happiness, and that is to cease worrying about things which are beyond the power of our will. Epictetus was a Greek Stoic philosopher. He was born a slave at Hierapolis, Phrygia, and lived in Rome until his banishment, when he, he went to Nicopolis in northwestern Greece for the rest of his life. His teachings were written down and published by his pupil Arian in his Discourses and Enchiridion. People don't really know why you and I are friends. I don't really know why we are friends, because I'm super sporty and you're super studious. And the only time you don't have a ball in your hands is when it's on my table. I'm so sorry, dear. I disturb you a lot, right? No, honey. You are my only best friend. How can I get disturbed by you? As per Abraham Lincoln, people are just as happy as they make up their minds to be. Abraham Lincoln was an American statesman and lawyer who served as the 16th president of the United States from 1861 until his assassination in 1865. Lincoln led the nation through the American Civil War, the country's greatest moral, cultural, constitutional, and political crisis. The teacher really likes our project. Yeah, it's completely ready. You can do the sign. The basic material for the class project is sometimes hard to find. Because we're doing the toughest project of the school? Do you really think so? According to Edith Wharton, if only we'd stop trying to be happy, we could have a pretty good time. Edith Wharton was an American novelist, short story writer, and designer. Wharton drew upon her insider's knowledge of the upper class New York aristocracy to realistically portray the lives and morals of the Gilded Age. In 1921, she became the first woman to win the Pulitzer Prize in literature for her novel, The Age of Innocence. It's summer on the island, so obviously we're hitting the beach. Sand, sea, and sunscreen lotions. Yeah, that's how we do the season around here. My first summer vacation on this island. We're so happy to have you here. It's weird being without family, but I have to say for you guys. In the words of Goldie Hawn, the only thing that will make you happy is being happy with who you are and not who people think you are. Goldie Jane Hawn is an American actress, producer, dancer, and singer. She rose to fame on the NBC sketch comedy program, Ron and Martin Slaffin before going on to receive the Academy Award and Golden Globe Award for Best Supporting Actress for her performance in Cactus Flower. 
your dad is going to be so impressed when he sees all this together, especially with the singer you booked. Do you really think so? It's nice doing things for parents, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a smaller version of the party I went to last week. As Germany Kent said, be positive, stay happy, and don't let the negativity of the world get you down. Germany Kent is an American print and broadcast journalist. Kent has also authored 10 non-fiction books, including the Hope Handbook series and You Are What You Tweet. Kent is also regarded as a social media etiquette expert. Hey, I hear you're gunning for veracity, Captain. Well, I have a shot, so... If Avi has a shot, she takes the shot. Is that a drinking game? Yeah, it should be. But with limited in hot summer's day. According to Marcel Pagnol, the reason people find it so hard to be happy is that they always see the past better than it was, the present worse than it is, and the future less resolved than it will be. Marcel Paul Pagnol was a French novelist, playwright, and filmmaker. Regarded as an author in 1946, he became the first filmmaker elected to the Academy franchise. He has found a store in a wonderful spot, but the rent is a little too expensive. Okay, tell him to go get a bank loan. Of course, he has to. He lacks some money. If the loan gets approved, then that money will keep him going for a few months. Right. Until then, he can set up the business. Mary Stewart said, To be kind to all, to like many and love a few, to be needed and wanted by those we love, is certainly the nearest we can come to happiness. Mary, Queen of Scots, also known as Mary Stuart or Mary I of Scotland, reigned over Scotland from 14 December 1542 until her forced abdication on 24th July 1567. Mary, the only surviving legitimate child of King James V of Scotland, was six days old when her father died and she ascended to the throne. There are a number of ways to get help if you need it. And all this information is on the board outside of our house and outside of the main office. It's on the society website homepage also. But the question is, if we call the helpline, how much time it takes to get to the actual help? Oh, it takes less than five minutes time to reach to you in an emergency. According to Robert A. Heinlein, love is that condition in which the happiness of another person is essential to your own. Robert Anson Heinlein was an American science fiction author, aeronautical engineer, and naval officer, sometimes called the Dean of Science Fiction Writers. He was among the first to emphasize scientific accuracy in his fiction and was thus a pioneer of the subgenre of hard science fiction. I think we're gonna get along. As long as I remember, you started here a month before me. So you have seniority, which is why you're training me. Which is insane if you think about it, because I just moved here a month ago and I have no idea what I'm doing. But the main thing is, I love this job. As Joseph Edison said, if men would consider not so much wherein they differ as wherein they agree, there would be far less of un uncharitableness and angry feeling in the world. Joseph Edison was an English essayist, poet, playwright, and politician. He was the eldest son of the Reverend Lancelot Edison. His name is usually remembered alongside that of his long-standing friend, Richard Steele, with whom he founded the Spectator magazine. Does she like this place? She doesn't have anything to compare it to. She has lived here all her life. Oh, 
She's an actual nerd, isn't she? Yeah, you can say that. In James M. Barry's words, the secret of happiness is not in doing what one likes, but in liking what one does. Sir James Matthew Barry is best remembered as the creator of Peter Pan. He was born and educated in Scotland and then moved to London, where he wrote a number of successful novels and plays. Hey, Avi, right? I am Rita. Saw you studying at the library yesterday. Yeah, I saw you too. Do you love reading books? Yes, I read every book that comes my way. That's why I enjoy spending time in the library. L.M. Montgomery said, It's been my experience that you can nearly always enjoy things if you make up your mind firmly that you will. Lucy Maud Montgomery OBE, published as L.M. Montgomery, was a Canadian author best known for a series of novels beginning in 1908 with Anne of Green Gables. The book was an immediate success. The titled character, orphan Anne Shirley, made Montgomery famous in her lifetime and gave her an international following. We are going to discuss about ways to address conflicts with your colleagues in the meeting. How can we communicate more effectively without the use of long emails? We can use volunteers for a little role playing exercise. I feel this meeting so boring. No dear, we can learn a lot here by keeping an open mind. Albert Einstein said, a table, a chair, a bowl of fruit and a violin. What else does a man need to be happy? Albert Einstein was a German-born theoretical physicist, widely acknowledged to be one of the greatest physicists of all time. Einstein is known for developing the theory of relativity, but he also made important contributions to the development of the theory of quantum mechanics. We have a table, a chair, and a bowl of fruit, but we don't have a violin. Does that mean we can't be happy? No, your violin means some music like chirping of birds or sound of ocean waves, like that kind of things, are enough to be happy. But sis, we can't hear the sound of ocean waves because of the pandemic. We can't go to the beach. Okay, then do a simple thing, sing a song on your own. But by eating fruits, how will I sing? Okay, okay, I understood. Don't be angry. See, I'm a kid and I'm officially allowed to do kidding. As James Oppenheim said, the foolish man seeks happiness in the distance. The wise grows it under his feet. James Oppenheim was an American poet, novelist and editor a lay analyst and early follower of Carl Jung. Oppenheim was also the founder and editor of The Seven Arts, an important early 20th century literary magazine. He was a well-known writer of short stories and novels. I met her a couple of weeks ago in a sophomore year. Apparently, we needed to be counseled because of all classroom fights. I must say, the counselor helped us to sort out all the misunderstandings. As I'm feeling, we're going to be great friends from today. From now onwards, you're my friend. That makes me feel so happy. As per Marcel Proust, let us be grateful to the people who make us happy. They're the charming gardeners who make our souls blossom. Valentin Louis George Eugene Marcel Proust was a French novelist critic and essays who wrote the monumental novel A la Research du Thèmes Perdu, published in seven parts between 1913 and 1927. He is considered by critics and writers to be one of the most influential authors of the 20th century. Did you really think you could get the job as you prepared this resume? Yes, I think it's a good one. As a coordinator, I take these things very seriously. Therefore, I expect you to take this seriously too. 
and please mention complete information on your resume. Then surely the job will be yours. I surely update all my information. My least expectation is that I shall get the job with an average salary to live a simple life. By the way, I won't forget your help. As Helen Keller said, when one door of happiness closes, another opens. But often we look so long at the closed door that we do not see the one that has been opened for us. Helen Adams Keller was an American author, disability rights advocate, political activist, and lecturer. Born in West Escambia, Alabama, she lost her sight and hearing after a bout of illness at the age of 19 months. I don't want to interrupt if you're expecting company. No, not at all. I'm a bit upset. I spoiled my painting by keeping it on a wet table. Oh, don't worry, let it dry. It'll turn into an abstract painting. Yeah, true. It looks marvelous. In the words of John Lennon, count your age by friends, not yours. Count your life by smiles, not tears. John Winston Ono Lennon was an English singer, songwriter, musician, and peace activist who achieved worldwide fame as the founder, co-lead violist, and rhythm guitarist of the Beatles. His songwriting partnership with Paul McCartney remains the most successful in history. To pass time, I would start composing these poems in my head. They weren't poems, they were song lyrics to be exact. And working on them made me feel like I'm living the old days again. Yeah, that's a good hobby you develop. I share it with your friends. Definitely. Without my friends, my life is half. Don't we have an announcement to make today? Yes. Our next spoken English video is going to include some advanced English vocabulary words which may help you to score band 9 in the IELTS exam. Thank you for watching our video. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and share this video with your friends.